It's NAB 2022 and we're back on the Promise Technology stand and I'm joined by Justin. Hi Justin, how are you Hi. doing? Hi, good. How are you? Very well, thank yeah. you. Now, we've spoken in a previous video to Richard Payne about the mm -hmm. Pegasus and now we're looking at the Pegasus Pro. Tell us what the differences are in the two systems. Okay, there, there, there are many successful cases of the Pegasus 32 and uh, most of the customers have been asking us about the sharing feature on the Pegasus series. So we designed this new product, Pegasus Pro. It comes with a Thunderbolt 3 DAS connection and the 10 NAS connection at the same time. Okay. And with a single machine, we can provide the DAS connection to the higher performance required uh, heavy loaded uh, tasks, mm. such as a post-production editing. And for the NAS connection, we can we can provide a sharing feature with okay. other, all other users in the team. So what particular challenges um, were your customers faced with before Pegasus Pro came along? Okay, when, when, uh, before the Pegasus Pro was released, the, the Pegasus 32 customers had to uh, set up Pegasus 32 DAS and the NAS or right. SAN separated. Okay. And it will cost a lot more and the uh, NAS products always have come with a very complicated set of procedures. Mm. So, so most of customers will have uh, very difficulties when they set up the machine. Yeah. But with the Pegasus Pro, we can provide a DAS and NAS connection with the same machine, and it comes with a very simple uh, usage and the set of procedures. So, yeah. so many of our current customers are very satisfied about it. Yeah. yeah. So here's the user interface here. Should we have a quick look what it can do? Give us a demonstration. Okay. And uh, actually, uh, for the two connections, two different connections on the same machine, we have to separate the volumes. Mm. One is for the DAS volume, and another one is the on another one is for the NAS volume. Okay. And uh, when the the heavy loaded uh, post production editor accessing to the DAS volume, um, when they save the any file onto the DAS volume here. And the most of the uh, other users connected to this machine through NAS connection can right. see the file. Okay. But the thing is that uh, actually there there are some other technologies to combine these two volumes. But in that case, we cannot max uh, we cannot uh, utilize the maximized Thunderbolt connection. Right. Yeah. So we we separated it, but we are also providing the very uh, nice feature called the file boost. Okay. to share the file uh, in between the DAS volume and NAS volume. Right, okay. So, for example, as a demo, if I select this file on the DAS volume, mm -hmm. and I select any any team folder on the NAS volume here, and I can copy the file to here to here, like this. Oh, wow, okay. And as easy it, as that? Yeah, in, mm. it, it happens very fast, mm. because uh, the file is transferred inside of the machine's bus. And in the traditional way, for example, if you if a user wants to copy the file from NAS to another DAS, the file will be downloaded to the computer first, mm. and then copy to the DAS machine again. Okay. So that means that that's a double effort and a double time. Yeah. But in this way, we, we can save the time very dramatically. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, and, the, oh, and another thing is that even though we just copy it. If, if in in the case the file is really big and it, it takes very long time, mm -hmm. and the, the editor can turn off the uh, turn off his computer. Yeah, okay. So the the cop, the file will still will be transferred inside the machine. So, right. Okay. So so like for example on the Friday night the the post mm -hmm. the editor is busy for the night party, so he can just. He can just trigger the file transfer and turn off the computer, and he can go. Just walk away. Yeah, right. and then other other members still can access to the file. Yeah. So users can transfer multiple files at the same time as well, I guess. Yes, for sure. Fantastic. Yes. Now this is being shown at NAB for the first time, I believe. Yes. And so people that haven't been able to get to Las Vegas this year, where can they find out more information? Uh, the people can log on to our website www.promise.com, cool. or uh, the people also can visit our YouTube channel. The Promise Channel. Cool. What yeah. type of videos do you have on there? Is it technical uh, ones or? We we posted many of the installation guide and the okay. usage guide and the also uh, successful cases there. So Fantastic. so people can find the 
very rich uh, uh, for the information from there. Yeah, a yeah. good resource. Fantastic. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. We're doing um, lots of videos here on the Promise Technology Stand, so do check out our NAB playlist for all of those. Um, and for everything else that we're doing at NAB, check out kitplus.com.